finally a break here for Michigan Storm Chasers and the rest of Michigan in general. We have no severe risk today in the state of Michigan. Today, Sunday, June 23rd, but we have more chances on our horizon. Unfortunately, guys, we do have a couple severe risks in place for Monday and Tuesday. But first, the forecast for Sunday, a little bit cooler temperatures here. Highs firmly in the 70s, uh, a little bit muggy out there still, but good breeze. It should be an overall pleasant day compared to what we've been experiencing the past week of hot, humid temperatures. So enjoy a nice cool day here, but chances of rain do exist. Northern lower, UP, perhaps eastern Michigan, not seeing too much there to be concerned about. Just some passing showers uh, as these, uh, as the remnant of these last couple of systems pushes out of the area. Attention turns, though, to Monday. All right. Severe risk in place by the SPC for Monday includes all of the UP. The Western UP in a slight risk in, in yellow there, level two out of a scale of five. And then dark greens a marginal risk, level one out of a scale of five. That marginal risk extends all the way down into Western lower Michigan. So Traverse City, Man or, uh, Manistee, Ludington, uh, Grand Rapids as well. Why? Well, let's go ahead and dive into the model. And then we're going to take a peek at Tuesday. All right. So the model, the NAM3 is the only model we're going to use for right now uh, for a high-res guidance. Now we're going to have more in the way of guidance uh, coming out today, which is why we're not locking anything in. Just going to make that clear just, just up front. We're not going to lock any forecast in just yet. We're just going to communicate the chances right now, all right? So move through the day. Here are your passing showers throughout the day here. This is, tomorrow, this, is this morning into the afternoon. Just a couple passing showers possible into Monday morning here, into Monday night. This is where our attention turns to. So Monday night, watch to our west, out in Wisconsin, there is a hefty squall line there, pushing east, southeastward towards our state. So there you go, UP, there's your UP risk, according to this model, about midnight, Monday night slash Tuesday morning, all right? Here's 1 a.m. Tuesday morning. It's gonna continue to push eastward, but it does die as it does so. So a similar picture uh, to last night, which was Saturday, where we had a, a bow echo try to cross the lake. It arrived in West Michigan and it went severe in Van Buren, Berrien, and Allegan counties. So a similar uh, a similar picture uh, Monday night being painted here. So if that line can hold its strength across the lake into Michigan after uh, midnight, that line very well could be strong to severe. Damaging winds is your only concern as of right now we're not too concerned for right now for hail uh, or tornadoes if that changes if that changes we'll let you guys know uh, but right now damaging wind should be the main primary driver of this uh, risk right here so again marginal risk still in place there uh, from the spc for monday night into tuesday morning that's round one tuesday we have a bit of a different setup here we have a similar picture overall with a complex expected just different area so again, this is Tuesday's outlook, the entire state minus the Western UP. So the Western UP was in a higher risk for Monday. Now it's not in a risk at all. So Western UP escapes this risk for Tuesday as of right now. But if you're not in the Western UP, you are, you're still in a severe risk. Marginal risk, dark green there for the entire state minus UP, Western UP. Uh, slight risk, level two, down in southwest Michigan. So Grand Rapids, Lansing, Coldwater, Kalamazoo. You guys are in a level two risk. All right. Why? Let's go ahead and dive back into the model. So the NAM3 that we're using for Monday night doesn't really go out too far into Tuesday. So we're going to use just a regular old NAM12 model. It's not high res, but it does give us a good picture of what to expect. So run this through the time frames here. Here's Monday. There's the complex of uh, storms out there in Wisconsin overnight Monday into Tuesday morning. And here's Tuesday morning. It crosses the state. And then attention turns to round two, so to speak, Tuesday night. There's your complex forming out there in Wisconsin. It's going to push east, southeastward, and that is going to be a main concern for Tuesday. Now, I will say Tuesday does look more impressive in terms of overall synoptics. What that means, we have enough shear, we have the lift, we have the moisture, we have the support in the atmosphere to get storms to be severe. All right, we still have a couple questions as far as capping goes and the degree of, degree of instability available. Monday night into Tuesday morning storms could shift this risk. It's like a domino effect. Morning showers and storms on Tuesday would then limit the overall instability for Tuesday night. So it's going to be a domino effect here. We can't lock anything in, but what we can say is it's impressive, so to speak, uh, with the synoptic pattern 
for a, a big complex of storms uh, at what we call MCS or an MCC, a mesoscale convective complex. It's basically a big old squall line of storms. It should be easily developed here across Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois, and push our direction uh, as we get into the early morning hours of Wednesday. So a late night, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning threat likely on the table for us here. And also just want to mention as well, with that being said, this is a pretty good slight risk, I think. Uh, but as far as the exact positioning goes, it will likely shift between now and Tuesday. So pay attention to any shifts here, as well as any upgrades possible. The SPC does mention a potential upgrade to an enhanced risk may be needed uh, to account for this potential Boeing segment here pushing uh, somewhere here in the region. It could be for us, but I think it'd be definitely likely, uh, at least for Wisconsin, Illinois, the areas out to our west. But would, would not be shocked to see that extended up in here in the Michigan. Uh, so pay attention in the future forecasts uh, for um, any additional changes here. Now, the day two for Monday will update today at 1.30 p.m., and then the day three, we'll have to wait for a new update at 2 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. So Monday morning, 2 a.m., that new outlook will, will come out for uh, uh, for Tuesday. So two days of potential severe weather here. Uh, Monday night, definitely a highest risk up there in the UP. But don't let your guard down the western or western lower peninsula just because that squall line may try to hold together uh, like we kind of saw last night there. So we're watching that close. But Tuesday definitely has my eye, uh, personally speaking, a little bit more just because the overall synoptic pattern is more favorable uh, for potential. We're going to say scattered to widespread uh, severe weather in the way of damaging winds. And as far as hazards go for Tuesday, I forgot to forgot to mention that uh damaging winds main driver of that bow echo squall lines uh definitely damaging winds would not rule out large hail or a few tornadoes as well we're gonna wait for that uh, wait to lock that in just because the overall uh areas as well as timing uh, as well as the atmosphere is still not set in stone so to speak we're having a, a deal with a, a, a capping inversion uh, which is going to put a lid on the atmosphere potentially at play which would limit any threat for tornadoes so we're going to kind of wait to adjust our wording on that. But I do think the main driver for Tuesday is definitely uh, damaging winds uh, followed by hail. And then tornadoes is kind of up in the air based on the cap. All right. Now, one more thing I'm going to show you guys is the CSU learning model. This model has done a pretty decent job uh, over the course of the past uh, couple of uh, months here uh, with severe weather, not just for the Great Lakes, but across the, the U.S. here. Uh, it really pinpoints uh, the basically like an AI learning model here, it really pinpoints uh, does a good job pinpointing where the highest risks could be. So for Monday, it does say that the highest risk is up there in the Western UP as well as Wisconsin and Minnesota. Uh, so keep an eye on those areas, especially the Western UP. Uh, does not have too much of a concern for Western lower. Doesn't mean let your guard down. I'm just going to just kind of showing you guys a different angle of this. Tuesday, though, is the big day. And we've seen this posted a few times in our comment sections on the page, uh, as well as our community page as well. This has the attention of the CSU learning model. The red there indicates a probability that's highest right now in Illinois there. That black dot indicates the highest probability of severe weather. But Michigan does get included within the higher probability there uh, in the red zone. So it's not a moderate risk. We're not going to freak out about that. This is just a learning model different from the SPC that's giving us a probability-based forecast. So this thing says uh, Illinois, northern Indiana, north northwest Ohio, and central and southern lower Michigan has the highest probability of severe weather for Tuesday. All right. Well, we're going to keep an eye on it. We'll have updates. Join us tonight for any updates that we may have at Sunday night weekly. It is at 7 p.m. tonight. Joel and I will be on there I'm giving you guys the forecast for the upcoming week. Be sure to join us there. But as far as the recap for this video goes, severe risk for Monday. No severe risk for today, which is Sunday. Severe risk for Monday does exist, primarily Western UP. Don't let your guard down in the wet or the Western lower peninsula as well. And then Tuesday is definitely a day to watch in terms of perhaps a more significant event if we can get the dominoes to fall in the correct order. That's a big if. All right. With that being said, I'm going to pop out of here. Like I said, join us tonight, 7 p.m. for our weekly live stream. We'd love to see you guys there. Come hang out with us, ask us questions. We love interaction with you guys. All right. Do me a favor. Smash the like button on this video. And we'll see you guys tonight at Sunday Night Weekly. And again, tomorrow morning, if need be, for any severe weather briefings.